Oh my goodness. Look at all this mess. What am I going to do with all this stuff? What would I do? My mom comes over and sees this mess. Oh, it's time to get organized, so let me show you what I've got planned. Alright, so let me show you what we got going on in this. In the cabinets here. As you can see, you kind of have to have everything just crammed back in there. Doesn't work really well. You have to move stuff to get in there and pull stuff out just to get to other things. And then down here, it's even more crammed. Paper towels and ibuprofen. We need to get this stuff organized too. Now the sink, there's not a lot of counter space as you can see. Right next to it is the stove. With the cover down, it does create a little more counter space, but if you're cooking on there, what are you, you going to do? You have this little bar, and as you can see with my hand, it's <laughs> really not much. So, uh, the closet space isn't going to do this way either. I don't really hang stuff up, and stacking stuff isn't going to be very good. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to pull that out of there to find stuff. Now, for the bedroom, I decided to go with uh, totes that will fit up top. And then, of course, the dresser here on the right, which will fit in the closets over there. They fit really well, actually. So the tote, the totes come from Storage Works, and the dresser on the right there I got from Whitmore. They are both from Amazon. I ordered them both from Amazon, so I'll leave links below. I'm not affiliated with anything yet, so they're just links for your guys' information. Now for the kitchen here, we've got a few different items. On the left there, over here, I've got uh, spice racks that I'm going to put on the inside of the cabinet doors. Get them out of the actual cabinet so I have more space to put things there. Eventually, I want to put some shelves or something in there so that it's not so crammed in there. <laughs> Easier to get to things. And of course, i got this large cutting board over here that I will be putting over the sink. And then down on the bottom here is a paper towel dispenser. Always good to have one of those instead of just having your paper towel roll rolling around. All right, so that's the solutions I'm going with. We're going to go ahead and uh, I'll get these put together, show you how it all works, and then show you the final uh, final results. So let's go. All right, so I didn't really have a better place to put this together for you guys except for sitting right here. So um, as you can see, this is the final final product final version some handles and stuff so this is actually extremely easy they come to you kind of folded up nice and thin um, it actually came in this cool little box that has uh, it's about that big you can see it's not very very thick it's about this tall and then it's a little organizer when you're done with it so you put some pens in here file I thought that was pretty nifty and again, this is from Storage Works, and they, uh, on the side of that box there, they talk about how, you know, they're trying to be environmentally friendly, and if any of you guys know me, that is something I am all about, you know, a lot of Scene Sprout is about showing you guys nature and getting you guys involved in making the world a better place for nature and humankind. So anyways, so you get two pieces, well three or four pieces actually. You get the tote itself, which unfolds pretty easily. As you can see, it's not very rigid. It doesn't want to stay together. So you also have this insert. It has a little tab here so you can pull that back out and store this fairly easily. So you just kind of pop this in and then push it down into the corners. Make sure it's nice and snug in all the corners. And it's got it holds its shape a lot better. You can put your clothes and socks and everything in there, which was that I plan to do, and stuff it up there. Now, as for the ropes, they're uh, some kind of a soft cotton thread, but you'll just put that through here. Hopefully, you can see this. Now, the trick with these is you don't want to pull this end here. You don't want to just yank on that. You want to push 
with this bottom side as you're tightening it. That way, as it's tightening, then you can pull a little bit on that one there. That way when it's tight, you didn't use up a lot of this space. If you were just to pull on this, the knot might be down here, and then you have this long piece just hanging down everywhere. So you can see, I'm gonna end right there. And then do the same with this side. Again, just push on the bottom side of the knot, push it up towards the top of the rope there, and you're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these other two ropes on and then we'll move on to the dresser. And there you go, that's how it's done. Quick side note, if you have dogs, you're gonna have dog hair all over in this. I just put this together and there's already a bunch of dog hair in here. So I got two, uh, all together I have six of these um, that will fit up here. One, two, three, and then another one in the shelf you can't quite see out of frame above there. And that's where I'm basically gonna keep all of my clothes, socks and whatnot, and then any random knickknacks and stuff I'll put in here in the, in the dressers. So let's get to the dressers. Okay, so this is what we're going to put together here real quick. And as I said, these are made by Whitmore. And again, I'll put links down in the description below so you guys can uh, order them if you like them. They're fairly lightweight, they're pretty small. Uh, it comes with all the shelves you need, the top of it, a bunch of screws, a little Allen wrench, and then the drawers themselves, which are pretty much the exact same as the totes we just put together. So these are fairly easy. If you've ever put anything together from, uh, from Ikea, this is pretty much the same concept, pre-drilled holes in all of them and you just make sure you get the pieces in the right place. This is the top, otherwise all three of these are the same. They are the bottoms for the drawers. So let's go ahead and put those together. I find it easiest just to kind of get one of them started a little bit. And then get the other one started. and then just tighten them down. So let's speed through this. All right, so that's the bottom done. Now, one quick tip with these, since you kind of have a bunch of screws to line up now, what I like to do is find one on the top here, get it lined up, start it a little bit find the one on the bottom one over here on the opposite corner start it a little bit and then do the same thing for the inner diagonals here so make sure everything's lined up and then that for the most part will make sure the rest of them are all lined up because if you go and tighten this one down and tighten this one down and as you go down you might be off just a little bit on some of them and then you're trying to force everything into place and that could maybe possibly cause something to break this might be fairly inexpensive but nobody likes to waste money so and then as you're tightening them down um, generally you'll want to kind of trade back and forth on the diagonals once you get all those in you can just do the same for the other diagonals so let's speed through that And that's it for the shelf part here. Now, when you're tightening all of these down, make sure they're good and tight. Just don't go too far. If you start to hear crunching wood, you're going too far. Um, otherwise, tighten them down, make sure they're good so it's not gonna wobble. Well, it's gonna wobble, it's in an RV, but. <laughs> so as for the tote side of things, these are literally the exact same way as the ones we just did for the clothes totes. It even has a little thing to pull out there. And that just goes down in the bottom, push it into the corner, and you're good to go. Slides right in. 
Now these do go through both sides. There's nothing to really stop them on the other side. So um, I may find something to kind of put on the backs here so they don't want to slide out the back because I don't need them. I want them to kind of stay where they are. So go ahead and put the rest of these together real quick and move on to the kitchen. we go got them both put together one for either side um, plan on putting like charging cables lightweight stuff like that these are not going to hold a ton of weight plus uh, the shelf bottoms in here aren't going to hold a ton of weight either so um, definitely a more lightweight solution it's not meant to hold anything really heavy so bowling balls things like that store under your bed let's get to the kitchen okay so this is actually pretty easy to handle take this cutting board Set it over top. Done deal. Okay, so what I've decided to do with these cabinets is I have a bunch of spices in here and they take up a lot of room just strewn about in there. There's no way to really stack them real well and get them out of the way. So I'm effectively taking up a bunch of space with salt, peppers, turmeric, thyme, stuff like that. So I got these. Measured them out. It kind of took me a while to find them on Amazon, something that was the right size. You can see they fit right in here. There's plenty of room for them to go in. And they fit just well enough. Let me see if I can keep my hands out of the way. You can see these little mounting brackets just right on the edge. Now, the problem with that is I'm going to have to drill pilot holes so that I don't split the side of this wood. I mean, there's not much room right there. I start putting a screw in there without drilling a pilot hole and that's just going to split it out. And then these become useless, but they also fit just barely inside where that little thing is there. So as this close, the door closes, you know, this will be right up top here. I'm actually probably gonna be down here. Um, so my thought is to have one that'll fit just above that little spot for all the smaller ones. And then one just above this shelf here, about right here. And that'll be all the small ones. And then I have enough room here. I'm going to put this on the bottom for the taller ones. Well, you know, a little bit lower. So it clears the, the clip on either side. And then put one more down on the bottom shelf down here. Because I've got, a, you know, three different shelves between the two doors. So I'm going to go ahead and mark the where I need to drill the pilot holes and drill those in and we'll see uh, see how this works out. I hope it works out. I did a lot of measuring and planning, so let's hope. Now, and I put this little magnetic level on here so I can make sure it's level and it's not skewed. Hopefully that will help with things later. If this becomes kind of cumbersome to hold this and mark these holes, it, uh, I have some Gorilla Tape, but that's semi-permanent and I don't really want to have to yank this off of here. These don't look like they're meant to hold a lot of weight. I mean, salt and pepper it doesn't weigh that much. All right, I'm going to go back over and mark them a little better so I can really see them. All right. I'm going to get the drill set up. A quick tip with uh, drill bits and the screws and your pilot holes. When you, if you take your screw and your drill bit, you kind of lay them over top of each other. I know you can't really tell, but basically what you're trying to do is find the drill bit that covers the inner, internal part of the screw, but you can still see all the threads on the outside. And if all you can see is threads, you're good. If you want to go like a slight smaller size you can but as long as you're not covering the threads you're not too big and as long as you can't see the core of the screw you're not too small now the thing that i got to be careful with here is as you can see this will go all the way through this door so i've got to be just kind of gentle and get myself a good start without going all the way through these holes 
all the way through the door. All right. Now we can start drilling or start screwing in the spice racks and see where we go. Uh, another tip, my dog's water bowl's right here. I'm gonna have to give them some new water. There's sawdust, well, screw dust all in their water. Sorry guys, daddy messed up your water. We'll just start it with a screwdriver and then finish it off with the drill gun. Moment of truth. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Cool. Let's get the other ones on. Yeah, that works well. Works well. All right, one more. Now the next one is down here out of frame. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on and then I'll just show you guys the end result. Here it all is installed. Looks pretty awesome. All right, a couple more things to install. Let's get to it. All right, so for the last things to install, I have these are the uh, magnetic knife racks. And then of course, our trusty little paper towel rack. So I think I'm gonna put the magnetic knife racks right here. Um, they are kind of right above the stove and the backsplash goes to right there. So there's enough room right above that for the knife racks. There's not really much more space. Um, I'm going to have a US map hanging out up there. So I'm hoping to have a little bit of room for a shelf or little racks or something over here. So we'll see, not a lot of wall space for mounting things. And then I eventually wanna take this out I don't plan on using the microwave. So there's a lot of space that could be utilized right there as well. All right, so for the mounting of the knife racks, I'm gonna take some of this Gorilla Tape. It holds one pound per two inches. And I believe these are about a foot long. So these should hold quite a bit of weight and there's two of them. So um, basically I'm gonna take this run it along the back of this, stick it to the wall. And hopefully that works. It's on there good and sticky. All right, so I'm using a knife here. Ooh, that's close. It's cutting it close. All right, so I don't know if it's gonna be better to have handles down. Seems like that'd be better to keep the, keep the pointies away from your hands down here. All right, so I need to have one about right there. And one about right there. Looks as level as I can get it by eyeballing it. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know that I need two of these at the same time. But... I figure having two magnets means these knives are not going to rattle off going down the road. Or two... Two magnets holding to the knives. Alright, moment of truth. Those really slap on there, don't they? Yeah. Nice. 
a little bit of a little bit in the way not too bad though this could have gone up a little bit more but they're they're there now they are there now yeah nice look at that i'm happy with that very happy with that all right so two things i gotta think about with this install is this cork board piece is going to have my u.s map on it and i put pins and stuff wherever i travel and it looks like wherever i put that I'll probably have it fairly high i will have good hands width there so I'll have plenty of room for this to be there without getting in the way so I'm going to put this down about right there so this already came with a pre-installed 3m sticky tape so let's peel off the backing for it try and make sure it's as level as possible Give it some good pressure. And that's that's that. Well, everything is installed now, so I'm gonna go ahead and get everything put away and then I'll show you the end results. all done it was good the, uh, the spice rack that worked out a lot better than I had hoped uh, there's a whole cabinet free now <laughs> and getting all this stuff off the floor and all this stuff unstacked and getting all my clothes put away in there and putting all the little random knickknacks and charging cables everything worked out really well so you guys like what I did you know like comment subscribe give me a thumbs up follow me uh, tell me what you think and until next time Y'all have a good one.